Hi, I'm Scott with Abundance Coaching and I'm here once again with Matt Proctor. And if you've watched the first two videos, you'll know that Matt Proctor's in the middle of a 30-day challenge to quit smoking and save his life. So Matt, would you share with us just a little bit about just your experience in the last couple days and the last week with your challenge here of quitting smoking? It's been really, 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 it's been a really hard struggle. I have been smoking. I gave my smokes away today so that I wouldn't smoke. Um, I, don't, I thought I could do it. I thought if I really set my mind to it, it would be easy, but it's not as easy as I thought it would be. Right now, I worry about how I'm going to do it. And it's going to snow here at least within a month and a half. I've been thinking that if I lay down in the winter a lot and uh, just not venture outside, it'll be a lot easier. But I also want to make October 1st the first day of the 30-day challenge again. So with all the challenges that you've been encountering, what are some of the biggest things that have just uh, thwarted you? We've talked about a lot of things along the way you know, little steps along the way. But what if, what what kind of things have thwarted you? Definitely the cravings. Yeah. Uh, continuing to live the same kind of life by going out for coffee, you know, uh, hanging around with my friends, not uh, focusing on overcoming the cravings. Yeah, and what else What else can you do that you think is going to work? Like, we've been talking about the little things yeah. that lead to bigger results. Yeah. So, why don't we get this on video? What little things that are going to lead to bigger results are you going to do now to make this work? Well, I'm going to stay in my room more. Um, I'm going to chew the neck red gum and ask God to help me. I'm just going to try find the willpower within me. Yep. And as we're going to do with your coaching, we're going to set out more specific things, little targets to hit on a daily basis in order to, have, to make this work here for you. Because as we know, looking at that massive goal is one thing, but looking at the small targets, the headlight goals, if you will, are going to actually help you get to that massive goal, which is really quitting smoking, right? So let's just reiterate for the audience out there, what's going to happen, Matt, if you don't quit smoking? I'll end up in the hospital and I'll die. Why? Well, Other why? people smoke. Why, why had, for you? I've had 30 pneumonias. My lungs have collapsed eight or nine times. And I've almost died about, I would say, between five and eight times. The winter, it's the hot smoke and the cold air. And there's so much infection that I just can't seem to stay out of the hospital in the winter. Yeah. Because you have to smoke outside. And at minus 40, when you're breathing in hot air, or hot smoke, and you're breathing in the cool air, it just doesn't work. And my lungs are so incapacitated by all the other pneumonias that I've had that I just, I'm really susceptible. So, Matt, what little things are we going to do that's going to help you quit smoking? Well, I have to find something to replace it with. And uh, I have to be ready to go through the withdrawal. The withdrawal lasts about a week. And it's bad. And all you can do, really, is just say no. No, I'm not going to smoke. That's what it comes down to. Because <laughs> I've done it before. My longest was six months. And in the hospital, I had a month to go without smoking. And it seems that's how I've always done it. I've been hospitalized, and I've stayed off it for a while. But I always get dragged back into it. Mm -hmm. I must enjoy it, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, there's definitely some addiction aspects to it, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's not easy. Then you go to a coffee shop, you don't have to smoke, 
Uh, you drink coffee, you want a cigarette. Mm. My friend Deaf knocked it off. The artist from Reddits said to quit drinking and smoking. He had to completely change his life. Yep. Yep. And that's going to be what we're going to work on in the next uh, couple of weeks. There's going to be some changes that are necessary for us to make and for you to make and choose to make for yourself that will empower you. It's environments as well. So we're going to have to work on the environments. We'll get these on video, what we're going to do, working on the environments. But the next couple of weeks are really going to be about replacing your time with things and replacing that habit with a new habit a positive habit all right so that's that's one of the major steps one of the first steps that we're going to work on uh, changing the environment is another step that we're going to work on it's hard to do that but but we're going to we're going to accomplish these things and and we're going to do it that's going to be awesome yeah definitely definitely well matt we're going to do this together you are going to quit smoking. That's a that's a guarantee. Is that your expectation that you are going to quit uh, smoking? Yes, yes. Yeah? All right. So you, you believe that it's going to happen. I believe. That's awesome. All right, I'm there for you, buddy. All right, come back next time. Join us for part four, part four. of Matt, Matt Proctor's 30-day challenge to quit smoking to save his life. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.